proudly brought to you by Hovatech. Hovatech, just a button away. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to flash a Mediatek Android device using software download tool. First of all, you need to have downloaded the tool. I have mine here. You also need to have the firmware for the device which you intend to flash. I'm using an ITEL A32F for this video. I have my phone right here and the firmware right here. It's in scatter format. Okay. And of course, you need to have inside your Mediatek USB VCOM drivers. We also have a guide for that on our YouTube channel and the forum. So check out that guide inside your drivers. Then come back to this guide. Now, once you once you have this in place, the next thing you want to do is to open your software download folder. Now, this tool by default requires a checksum file. A checksum verifies the integrity of your firmware. Okay. Now we already have a guide on how to generate a checksum for your firmware. You can check out that guide, generate your checksum.ini and then copy it into the um firmware folder. But if you do not want to have to go through that stress you can simply dis disable the checksum check for this tool so now to do that you need to just open the config folder you open the common setting file using notepad plus plus if you do not have notepad plus plus make sure you download and install that application now what you want to do is to head over to the common section you want to down you want to change checksum from one to zero i also want to check change the flash checksum from 1 to 0 and then you want to save ctrl s all right now once you've done that you might want to close the file and come back to the parent folder now you're you are going to launch the swd.exe application so i'm going to go ahead and launch that now once the dashboard is up let me drag this down here now once the dashboard is up what you want to do next is to click on the setting icon just here and then you click on load now what you want to do is navigate to the location where you have your firmware i have mine in the software download folder so i'm just going to open and then you highlight the scatter file and then you click on open if you don't know what the scatter file looks like it's a text file empty xxxx that's your phone's chipset android underscore scatter so you just select that highlight the file and you click on open and now you want to select the flash option you have firmware upgrade format all and download backup and recovery download download only reserve user data now if you are not if you are unsure what to select just select download only reserve user data all right and then you click on confirm so now we have the firmware loaded the next thing you want to do is to get on with flashing so what you do next is to click on this green play icon and then it's going to change to a red stop now at this point you want to power up the device which you intend to flash then you connect it to the pc via usb cord you do not hold any button when connecting to the pc all right you just power off till with battery in it do not hold any button then connect it via usb cord so i'm going to do that right now don't forget you need to have installed your drivers else these two will not be able to detect your device so i have detection i have my dark connection ongoing okay file download has begun i'm on two percent so what you want to do is to just be patient do not interrupt this process all right because if you interrupt the phone will go dead all right so my flashing is at 36 percent don't forget do not interrupt this process because if you do the phone will go dead now if for some reason you interrupt the process and your phone goes dead then you have a number of options the easiest option you have is to just take out the battery and then you reinsert okay that's very easy and then you can try to power on and then try reflashing but if your battery is inbuilt then you might have to connect the phone to a power source and keep charging it could take hours it could take days for it to come up but well, that's a very slow process but it does work you need to keep charging the device or you connect it to a power source you hold either the power button or the volume increase button or even hold both that will trigger the device to exit flash mode and then it's going to come up again but 
it could be a very stressful process okay but so just try avoid interacting with the phone while flashing is going on okay so i have mine at 93 percent i'm almost done with flashing i selected download only and any moment from now all right great i have pass so it says download complete so what you want to do is to disconnect the device from the pc and then you power up and then you are done flashing so that's how to flash a mediatek android device using software download tool in scatter format this tool also supports bin format so you can also flash in dot bin format